Valentine's Day, and you were yeah. the only person here today not wearing red. Well, maroon. Maroon. Uh, it's close. I guess it's early when you get bleeding up. heart. <laughs> 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 you look like a live Valentine. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> All right. So there will be a vote this October on whether or not to permit professional athletes in the Olympics for hockey, soccer, and tennis. Hey, why not? The Russians and the Soviet bloc countries have been professionals for years. Who's kidding whom? Being paid or subsidized by the government. But one question, would the National Hockey League in this country suddenly interrupt the season and permit their stars to go off and play in the Olympics? And if so, who would be responsible if perhaps a Wayne Gretzky broke his leg while he was playing in the Olympics? Would the Oilers still be responsible to pay his salary? All right, for all you tennis fans, are you a tennis fan, yes, Maria? I am. All right, Maria, you'll recall last year, Venus Gerolitis said, that the number one woman tennis player in the world couldn't beat the 100th ranked male tennis player in the world. I remember. Well, last week, I asked Chris Everett her opinion of Gerolitis' statement. You believe that? Yeah. I don't you, think... you couldn't beat the 100th ranked man? Yeah. No. When my husband was ranked, John is now ranked in the top 30. Three years ago, he was ranked about 350, and he was killing me on the court. I mean, we'd play and it would be no contest. I mean, I feel the top woman would have trouble with the thousandth ranked male player because you're looking at good boy junior players, you're looking at college players. How many good college players are there that could beat us? How many over 35? The Ken Rosewalls and the John Newcombs and those players who are over 35. They're not even ranked. They could still beat us. So, I mean, you know, it's just because of power. Hmm. Men are stronger and faster and built differently, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Christian. You surprised, huh? I was surprised. All right. With all this snow around the country and spring training just around the corner, I know a guy who can't wait for the baseball season to start. In fact, this guy is so anxious for the season to open that he's having these dreams about playing in Yankee Stadium. Was that mask, Unbelievable. man? Unbelievable. All right, hooray for the National Hockey League. The National Hockey League will begin experimenting on the possibility of using videotape replay to determine whether or not a goal is a goal. They will try it out first in the International Hockey League, placing one camera above each goal and a referee to check the TV monitor. Now, if the National Hockey League accepts videotape replay on a regular basis, can football, baseball, and basketball be far behind? All right, let's go to the videotape, the plays of the week. First of all, the dunk of the week. You know what it was, five foot seven inch Anthony Spud Webb of the Atlanta Hawks in the slam dunk contest. And Webb again with a bounce pass to himself and the reverse stuff. The best save of the week, Joe Dumars of the Pistons falling out of bounds near full court pass to Isaiah Thomas. The best behind the back pass of the week, Purvis Short of the Warriors to Terry Teagle. The Boo of the Week, Golden Gloves, Kevin Johnson, who hits his opponent while he's down. Boo! The best amateur punch, Golden Gloves, Jonathan Hill. Boom! Right hand. The best professional punch of the week, Alexis Arguello. Right hand and boom! Down goes Billy Costello. The best clean check of the week, Scott Stevens of the Washington Caps who upends Chris Nyland of the Montreal Canadiens. The most left hooks thrown by one player in a hockey fight. Gord Deneen of the Islanders in the blue. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left hooks on Dave Brown. 
And Maria Shriver was at the game, wearing her new Valentine's Day outfit. <laughs> Until next Friday, this is Warner Wolf. Well, Warner, I was going to ask you who the guy was, but as you mentioned, today is Valentine's Day, so I didn't want you to feel that no one was thinking about you, so oh. I went out on the streets of New York City to ask women to oh. send you a special personalized Valentine. Let's go right to the videotape. <laughs> Dear Warner, if I wasn't already married, I wish that you'd marry me, because I think you're very cute. Oh, Warner, be my Valentine. You're the greatest. You bring a lot of warmth and sunshine into my winter days. Who, who's Warner Wolf? Roses are red. <laughs> Violets are blue. War Warner Wolf? Warner Wolf, we love you. Girls, no way. He can't be your Valentine. He's my Valentine. Hi, sweetie. Happy Valentine's to you. I love you. <laughs> hey, hey! That's my wife. Really? <laughs> now you're finally red. Okay, that's... we can finish it off. You're red. I can't believe it. One for me. We'll be back in just a minute. Thanks to your wife. Wow.